very much. Let's hear it for Jerome. Jerome, Jerome, Jerome. <laughs> How are you guys doing tonight? Good. It's New Year's Eve. You're doing better than that. How are you guys doing tonight? Ooh, happy New Year. Welcome to Feliz Wine and Tapas, Deacon, Deacon, Deacon. I'm your host, Anne Marina Wade. We have some great comedy for you. Are you guys ready for a comedy show? Yeah. I want more excitement than that. Yeah. We have some wonderful performers for you today. We're going to have your uh, headliner later on this evening, Tony Liberati. Woo. So it's pretty exciting. Let's hear it for him. <laughs> Before that, we're going to bring up Josh Lopalo for you. He's very funny. He's clapping. <laughs> Marina Wade, you can call me Deacon 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 for short if you want, it's fine, I'll be your host and MC for the evening. So uh, it's New Year's Eve, it's exciting, you guys chose to come spend it here, I love New Year's Eve. Who's excited for a flat, fresh slate? That's what I'm looking forward to, clean slate on New Year's Eve, yeah! We just start absolutely new, everything, the unexpected pregnancy, that's going to be gone at midnight. You know? Those cold sores? Not a thing next week. Fresh slate, New Year's Eve. Red Sox winning the World Series? That's done. We have a fresh slate. No. We have, you, who, uh, we don't like the Red Sox, or we do. Either we do. We do. Oh, you're wrong. No. no, let's all unite. Let's all unite, because I'm looking around. And I am seeing my people in here. I am. Where are my black, Irish, Catholic, Slavic, Polish, Jews? <laughs> Yahoo! There we go. Awesome. I feel like you're lying. I feel like you're lying to me. We're getting off on a bad start. But that's okay. Fresh late tomorrow. Uh, it's, you know, you are missing out if you're not black, Irish, and Jewish. It's a lot of fun. Every Saturday, I get drunk and go bargain hunting. <laughs> and if I can't find a deal, I just steal it. <laughs> it's hard being black, Irish, and Jewish, though. Like, if I were any more oppressed, I'd be an Irish laundromat. <laughs> That's fine, that was for me. The rest of them, the rest of them will be for you, but that was for me, fresh late. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's, it's rough being black, Irish, and Jewish, you know? The thing that's hard about it is that people always tell me I'm not black enough, you know? It's not my fault that when me and my white boyfriend do the jungle fever hand-holding thing, I'm the paler hand. <laughs> I can't talk that. You know, I get sick of people telling me I'm not black enough. Like, people tell me the only black thing about me is my hair. Those people haven't seen my nipples. <laughs> <laughs> They're so big, I'm a quarter Puerto Rican. <laughs> Speaking of nipples, I was at a baby shower recently. <laughs> and you know, I was under the impression that you're supposed to get the mother something she needs for her child, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, she didn't even say thank you for the earplugs. <laughs> or the father's number. It was, <laughs> it was rude. Is what it was. <laughs> it isn't right. I learned something at the baby shower, though. I learned that I will never rush into a marriage because of an unexpected pregnancy. Mm -mm. I mean, my father doesn't even have a shotgun. I'm just kidding. I don't have a father. <laughs> cool. These are just jokes. I'm actually, uh, I'm feeling a little bad and. I'm feeling a little bad for being here, and I'm a little excited because it's, I met a resolution early. All right, I'm just gonna tell you, I wasn't gonna do this, but it's like boiling inside of me. I'll put it this way, I think I look pretty good for the mother of a beautiful two-month-old baby boy today. So that's Thank you. I don't have any kids or anything, but I think I look pretty good. I have a friend with a six-month-old. I look way better than her. No, no, no. no, I don't have any kids. I've never even been pregnant. 
but don't tell that to the guy that gave me the three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. One. You got it. My mom got it. My, mom, my mom's in the front row. Uh, let's all hear a round of applause for mother. I love my mother very much. Um, you know, my mom and I were talking about baby names the other day, and it got me thinking that uh, I think if I ever have a son, I'd want to name him Will. So it's a coincidence. <laughs> My best friend's son's name is Will, and she's in the audience, and I'm suddenly rethinking every decision I've made that's led me to this point. <laughs> but if I ever have a son, I want to name him Will. Uh, and then keep my fingers crossed that he died so I can make the really funny joke that I lost my will. <laughs> That's a fresh late, fresh late, pretty soon. That won't have happened. Are you guys drinking? Who's getting drunk tonight? It's New Year's Eve! Not enough. You know, the more you drink, the funnier this is. <laughs> what is that? What's that little drink that you have in, is that some sort of shooter? Dessert. No. Oh, it's a dessert. Is that a wine? This is. What is that? What kind? Um, Moscato. Oh. It's your anniversary, Emery. It's your anniversary? That, oh, that's beautiful. Let's hear a round of applause for that. Then you spent it here with us. That's great. What did you do wrong that she made you come here? Did you, did you cheat? <laughs> no? How long have you been married? Did you just sum it up? What time is it now? <laughs> Two years. Two years. Wow. Congratulations. Thank Let's you. hear it for them again. Two years. That, I've never even had a breakup that lasted that long. I am very proud of you guys. That is excellent. Uh, you got me thinking with your wine, though. I know it's great to have nice wine on an anniversary, and you know what I used to love? Um, joints. <laughs> That's what, yeah. I don't smoke anymore, though. Uh, it was getting a little out of hand. I knew it was getting out of hand when I started saying grace before I smoked. <laughs> Dear Lord, thank you for blessing me with this bountiful bowl full. I mean, that's not, that's not right. It's strong. It's funny, but it's not right. I, uh, I had dreadlocks, but I had to get those cut out because I got so sick of people assuming I smoked pot just because I had dreadlocks. And I smelled like it. <laughs> and I was buying it from them. But don't assume. You know? The other thing was that education is very important to me. It is. I come from a long line of associate degrees. Uh, thank you. Thank you. The alcohol is all over there. It's in this corner. Uh, I do. Education is important to me. I had a tough time in school, though. Like, I used to uh, fall asleep in class. How many of you guys done that? It's the worst. I fell asleep during Shakespeare one time and the teacher woke me up and I said, uh, to be or not to be. What was the question? <laughs> that one was for me. <laughs> the, uh, I, my history teacher asked me what BC stood for and I told her before Christ. Yeah. And then she said, oh, what does AD stand for? And I said, after, duh. <laughs> My cousin joined the military. He did two tours of duty in Iraq. Let's hear it for our service medal. You know, I don't care what your feelings about the war are, what your political beliefs are. We have people over there willing to die for us. And if it's your family member, it's scary. But I'll tell you what got me through. The nights when, when I was worried about my cousin over there, I knew that if he was fighting anything, like we used to play paintball, then he was cheating. <laughs> and we would be okay. <laughs> when he came back, he had a, he'd gotten a tattoo and he wanted to show it to me, so he rolled up his sleeve, which was weird, because he had a wife beater on. <laughs> and it was an envelope with teardrops in it, and I said, well, what does that mean? And it was because his name is John, and every time he gets a letter, it starts off so badly. <laughs> Relationships are hard, though, but, you know, I, 
all my jokes about all my different races, it's, of course, I'm in a biracial relationship. Uh, but he's bisexual and racist. <laughs> but no, he's uh, part Japanese, and I'm half black, so we decided that if we ever have a baby girl, we're gonna name her Shaquanda. <laughs> and we're gonna pronounce it Shaquanda! Are you guys ready to keep this comedy show going? Yeah. Jimmy Fallon? Yeah. He watches all of those shows. 